Hi guys, greetings of the day, myself Vijayta Vadhan and in this video lecture session I am going to show you a solution on projection of solids. And an example problem is like this, a pentagonal pyramid 25 mm sides of base and 50 mm axis length rests on HP on one of its land triangular faces. Draw the projections of the pyramid when the axis appears to be inclined to VP at 45 degree. Now according to the given condition, one has to construct a pentagon. So for which go to applications, macros, run macro, click on the inside polygon open the inside polygon click on the flat length and the flat length is supposed to be taken as 25 millimeter because that is the size of the pentagon given and pentagon is having five sides click on the apply relationship and then press the cursor anywhere on the screen so that one can see that the pentagon is going to be obtained now the pentagon is supposed to be the side resting because we have to get this land triangular face so select any one of the side incline line and make that line as vertical on the right hand side now one can see that this is going to be the required stand triangular faces resting. Then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13. Draw any two perpendicular bisectors for which go to Intel sketch and switch on the midpoint. Draw a line from here to here that is going to be the corner to the midpoint. Again, corner to the opposite line midpoint. And then go to tools, Intel sketch, switch off the midpoint once again. And then from the intersection of these lines, what we have drawn, which is going to be the apex position the, from the apex join all the slant edges like this which is going to be the representation of the slant edges in the top view now after which make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 one can draw all the necessary projectors till it touches the xy line to draw the front view and then the axis portion should be drawn the axis height is given as 50 mm in the question so we will set the line as 50 millimeter and will complete the front view with respect to all the visibilities like this and then this line is supposed to be shown as a chain line and then make use of a smart dimension show that the height of the solid is 50 millimeter and the size of the pentagon is 25 millimeter then make use of the text command start naming the corners as a b c d and this is going to be e and this is going to be o as well as o1 and then the top view the top view is completed the front view has to be named as a dash then we have b dash as well as e dash then we have o1 dash and then we have c dash as well as d dash and after which the apex portion is going to be named as o dash like this and after which it is resting on a slant triangular face that is o dash c dash d dash is supposed to be on the x y line for which one has to select the front view completely then go for a move command move in such a way that c dash d dash as a reference point it should be relocated on the 45 degree sorry relocated on the x y line like this then go for a rotate command rotate in such a way that c is the going to be the fixed and o is going to be shifted on the x y line and then o dash is going to be shifted above the x y line so that it is going to represent the front view and then to draw the top view draw the projectors from the front and top views properly and connect it now o dash is connected to o dash sorry o dash is going to be connected to o dash so make use of a line command properly and then uh, start drawing the lines so o dash is going to be connected to o dash along with o dash we have o1 dash also and then we have a dash also we will complete those two projectors then we have b and e so we will connect the b to b and along with B we have E also so we will connect the projector E to this line and then we have ref.1 C and D so we will connect C as well as D. Now after which using the text command name the respective corners and this corner will be marked as A, B, C, D, E, O1 and this is going to be O and after which make use of a line command with the 0.5 mm thickness complete the boundary lines. Now what is going to be the boundary line? The boundary line let us start with B, O, then E, then going to be the D, then C and going to be the B is going to be the boundary line. When this pyramid is looking from the top, the base is nearer to the observer when compared to the apex portion, hence the base edges must be visible. So we will make the base edges as visible edges like this and after which such of the slant edges which are partially passing or completely passing inside the visible base are invisible that is o dash d dash and o dash c dash is going to be the invisible line and then oa is going to be the 
visible edge because it is passing outside the visible base hence the OA must be a visible line and after which using a line command with the thickness of 0.13 and a chain line O1 is supposed to be connected to O because the axis is inclined to VP at 45 degrees so once for uh, henceforth one has to draw this line and now one can see that the uh, line length is getting reduced that is nothing but the apparent length is going to be obtained but the given angle is also called as apparent angle so one need not to worry about the construction of apparent angle so straight away using a line command with a continuous line and 0.13 mm thickness construct the beta angle directly at an angle of 45 degree so then set this angle to 45 degree and then the top view has to be relocated at an angle of beta then go for a move command move with respect to O1 and O1 is supposed to be shifted on the 45 degree line and then go for a rotate command rotate in such a way that O1 is already on the 45 degree line and O is going to be shifted on the 45 degree line like this then make use of a line command with a thickness of 0.13 and a continuous line one can draw all the necessary projectors to complete the next stage front view now B is connected to B properly so B B dash and then along with B we have E so let me project E then A is at this height so we will project the corner A dash also then we have O1 so we will connect O1 to O1 properly so O1 is connected and then we have left out with C and D which is on the X Y line so let us log the angle as 90 degree so that uh, the line C dash and D dash is going to be connected properly on the respective projectors. Then make use of uh, the text command name the respective corners as this as A dash and this is going to be B dash this is going to be C dash and this is going to be D dash and this is going to be E dash this is going to be O1 dash and this is going to be O dash according to the constructions. Then make use of a line command with the thickness of 0.5 millimeter and a continuous line. One can complete the boundary from A dash to O, o dash to E dash, E dash to O dash and A dash to O dash then C dash as well as D dash connected to E dash. And after which the boundary has been completed. Now one can observe that. And one can observe that the base is nearer to the observer hence the base edges must be visible the base edges are b dash to c dash which is not in the boundary line so we are going to complete it now such of the slant edges which are either partially or completely passing inside the visible bases invisible that is the slant edges if i am going to join that is e dash and o dash is going to be the invisible edges and then a dash b dash and o dash is going to be overlapping so that they are going to be the visible edges and then at the last not but the least axis is supposed to be shown from o1 dash to o dash like this now one can see that say that the problem is completed in all aspects according to the given conditions and thanks for watching this video and also kindly subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video to all the first year engineering students